We know disasters can occur at any minute, of course, sure. and with Hurricane Harvey and flooding going through the Lone Star State, we can't help but wonder, what if that were us? How do we prepare? 41 NBC's Edna Ruiz explains what you need to know in case of a flood. That's right, guys. Flooding could be and has been a problem for middle Georgia. Just look at the flood of 94 that came after Tropical Storm Alberto. The Macon Bib Emergency Management Agency is prepared for any type of disaster to occur at any minute. And since we're still in hurricane season, EMA Director Spencer Hawkins says he wants you to be prepared as well. This can and does happen to us. Hurricane Harvey brought a lot of rain to Texas over the weekend, flooding streets and homes. It can be a matter of life or death because um, when those flood waters start rising and depending on the, the situation, they will, it will happen very quickly. A familiar scenario occurred in middle Georgia a couple of decades ago. The flood of 94 was actually caused by Tropical Storm Alberto, which did uh, almost what Hurricane Harvey did to coastal Texas, where it came on shore and it parked and sat on top of us for uh, a number of days and brought all that rain. Macon Bib EMA Director Spencer Hawkins says although it may not happen right now, it's important to have a plan because it could. You want to make sure you have an emergency plan, have your emergency kit, and stay informed. Hawkins says if you're in a low-lying area or if you feel like you shouldn't be in that place that you are, be prepared to evacuate, especially if you live near the Okmulgee River or Lake Tobasovki. If there is a significant amount of rain, Hawkins and his team are constantly checking the water levels. We have um, several systems that we monitor uh, for flooding. This is, uh, we have two river gauges, two gauges here in Macon. One's on the Oak Mogi at Spring Street and one is at Lake Tobasovki. The system notifies Hawkins how high the river is. It's currently sitting at about five feet, which is low since a river usually runs about seven to nine feet. 16 feet is when we start monitoring, start taking action is what they call it to monitor what's going on. 18 feet is when we start seeing some of our first flooding impacts. EMA will start notifying people when it gets to the 16 foot mark. You can get notifications from the EMA's NBC alerts, which send out texts or emails. The more that people heed those warnings and understand that we are doing this for your safety, the better off everyone will be. Hawkins says if you live in a flood plain, it's very important to talk to your insurance company about flood insurance. You can head over to our website, 41nbc.com.